Spoilers ahead. The movie begins and we meet Dr. Sebastian Kane, a brilliant molecular biologist who is working on an invisibility serum for the US military. Sebastian has been attempting to perfect the formula for the last four years, and he conducts his experiments on animals kept inside a top secret hidden military lab, accessible only to him and his staff. His current project is reversing the invisibility effect on his test subject, a female gorilla named Isabel. What the team discovered is that phase shifting a living organism into invisibility was easy to achieve, but phasing them back to visibility has proven very difficult. Working late one night, he solves the problem and immediately reports his success to the top members of his staff. Although work on the serum occupies nearly all of his waking hours, Sebastian becomes obsessed with his ex-girlfriend Dr. Linda McKay, who is a scientist on his team. Unbeknownst to him, she has become involved with Dr. Matt Kensington, another member of their research group. Sebastian and his colleagues, who also include veterinarian Sarah Kennedy, and Carter Abbey, and technicians Frank Chase, and Janice Walton, eventually enable the serum to work on the gorilla. In celebration, the team goes out for a fancy dinner, where Sebastian makes a toast to the greatest research group in the world. To Sebastian however, it feels like the end as reversion was the last big breakthrough. Instead of reporting his success to the military, Sebastian inexplicably lies to the oversight committee including his old teacher Dr. Howard Kramer, and talks Linda and Matt into lying to the other four team members, saying that Kramer and the board have given them the go-ahead for human testing. Despite a painful shift to transparency, the procedure is successful. After being unconscious for about 17 hours due to shock, Sebastian wakes up in pain, and recoiling from the ambient light, realizing that he can see through his eyelids. He then conducts some clinical tests on himself. But when it comes time to return to visibility after three days, the reversion fails and almost kills him. The researchers construct a latex mask for Sebastian to wear around the lab. During this time, Matt discovers a promising way to make Sebastian visible again, however it fails. Damn it. Over the next several days, isolation and virtual imprisonment in the lab begin to wear on Sebastian's patience. Dead fucking day. Disobeying Carter and his own rules, he sneaks out and goes to his apartment to grab some books CDs and Twinkies to take back to the lab. There, temptation gets the best of him, and he first spies on his neighbor, and then has his way with her, while fully invisible. Linda shows up at the apartment and finds the mask and clothes, but no Sebastian. Sebastian returns to the lab just as the others were planning to go after him. Linda warns him that if he leaves again, she and Matt will tell Dr. Kramer what they did. Not likely. Ignoring their threat, he assembles a device that runs a video loop of his heat signature in his quarters. The repeating image fools Frank into believing that Sebastian is still in the lab when in fact, he is out spying on Linda and Matt. Sebastian sees Matt and Linda together about to have sex and smashes their bedroom window. The two call Frank who tells them that Sebastian is still in bed. Meanwhile, an enraged Sebastian returns to the lab, frustrated and angered at the thought of Linda and Matt together. Fire! Unable to stand the annoying barking of an invisible dog, Sebastian approaches the dog, reassuring it that he means it no harm, then kills it. The team soon discover that they have been watching a recording and that Sebastian has been leaving without their knowledge. Linda and Matt go to Dr. Kramer's house and tell them about the experiment on Sebastian. Dr. Kramer is disappointed, and tells them that they are fired from the project. Think about clearing out your offices. Dr. Kramer then attempts to call the military and inform them about Sebastian, but Sebastian has actually followed Linda and Matt to the house. Sebastian tricks Kramer into leaving the house and then drowns him in his own swimming pool. The next day, Sebastian waits until all of the team is in the lab and then disables the phones and all of the elevator codes except for his own. He removes his clothing and latex mask and begins to hunt them all down. Janice falls behind while the team searches for Sebastian and he strangles her. After they find Janice's body, Linda, Sarah and Frank hide in the lab, while Matt and Carter take tranquilizer guns to go hunting for Sebastian in the empty hallways, using thermographic imaging goggles. Matt shoots at a heat signature from a steam vent. When Matt turns around, Carter has been yanked into the air by Sebastian, who is on top of a pipe. Matt tries to shoot him, but Sebastian throws Carter down toward a steel bar, which cuts his carotid artery, causing massive blood loss. I'm losing resolution! Sebastian almost kills Matt, but Linda drags him to safety. Sarah and Frank find the barely conscious and severely injured Carter. Sarah runs off alone to get blood for a transfusion, despite Frank's wishes. 
Sensing Sebastian nearby, she splashes the blood all over the room, waiting for him to walk on it and reveal his location. However, Sebastian tackles her and shoots her with her tranquilizer dart, then breaks her neck. Linda and Matt find Frank tending to a dying Carter. Carter bleeds to death and the three go to find Sarah. They find her dead in the walk-in freezer. Frank sprays a fire extinguisher to expose Sebastian, but Sebastian comes from behind and impales Frank with a crowbar. He then stabs Matt with the hook end in his lower chest. Sebastian locks Linda and Matt in the freezer, turns the temperature control all the way down and leaves them to freeze to death. Sebastian puts on his latex mask and clothing, spending much time to ensure he looks near human. Meanwhile, Linda dresses Matt's wound with duct tape and then works out a way to escape from the freezer. Linda constructs an electromagnet using a defibrillator and other lab equipment, and uses it to open the door. She lights a fire to warm Matt and gathers the parts needed for a flamethrower. In the lab, Sebastian has been making nitroglycerin to destroy the place and cover up the murders of the team. He puts the nitro in a centrifuge, starts a timer and destroys the keyboard so it can't be stopped. Just as he is entering the elevator to leave, Linda appears and fires her crude blowtorch at him. His latex mask and clothes burning away, Sebastian barely manages to escape the flames. Linda uses the flamethrower to start the ceiling sprinklers, partially revealing him. The two fight and just as she is about to lose, Matt appears and hits Sebastian with the crowbar. Sebastian recovers and seizes the crowbar, but while wet, he swings the crowbar and connects with a fuse box, electrocuting himself. As the electricity courses through his body, Sebastian is rendered partially visible. Linda and Matt find the nitro about to explode, and decide to abandon the lab. The lab explodes, filling the shaft with fire. The two are almost out. When Sebastian appears, he fights with Linda, and kisses her one last time, before she grabs the elevator cable, and knocking the car loose, sends Sebastian plummeting into the inferno below, killing him. Both Linda and Matt emerge from the burning laboratory, and medics whisk them away in an ambulance. And the movie ends. Hollow Man is a 2000 science fiction horror film, directed by Paul Verhoeven and written by Andrew W. Marlowe. Both Guy Pearce and Edward Norton were considered for the role of Sebastian Kane. Kevin Bacon was ultimately chosen for his ability to be both charming and diabolical. The film was nominated for the Oscar for Best Visual Effects, along with Gladiator and The Perfect Storm. Gladiator 1. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.